Hello and welcome everybody to Aditi Ma'am's Story Writing Class. How are you? Are you good? Show me a thumbs up if you're good. All those who are feeling very good and excited, show me good. If you're show, feeling totally superb, fantabulous, rocking, show me a super good. If you are not feeling up to the mark, you're feeling very sad, show me a boo. And if you're feeling okie okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, then you show me this. Now let me see how many thumbs up do I get, how many super yeses I get, how many okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, and how many boo. Oh my god. So all the boos by the end of my class today will turn into hip hip, hooroo, hooroo, okay? So are you all ready? Yes? Brilliant. We are just waiting for a few more people to join in here. Great. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome once again. We'll start in a moment. We are waiting for your friends so that they don't miss out on the class. Okay, and there we are. In the meanwhile, remember I had asked you to get some material. Do you have a pen or a pencil? If you have it, very good, show a thumbs up. If you don't have it, quickly go and grab a pencil or a pen to write down and a notebook or an A4 size sheet. You know what's an A4 size, right? This is the size of an A4, a printer paper sheet. This is A4. I had asked you to get a rule sheet which has lines on it. Even if you have plain sheet, that will do. But just get a sheet. Great. So, Everybody, are you ready to rock with me? Ready to roll? Come on, do it with me. Are you ready to rock today? Ready to roll? Come on, everyone. Are you ready to rock with me? We are ready to roll. Great. So welcome once again, everybody, to Aditi Ma'am's story writing session. This is the second part of the story writing session. But don't worry, we had the first session last week. And if you happen to miss that out, I will be giving you a cute chutput recap. So we will revise our concept in the recap and we will learn another way of writing a story today, which is going to be different from what we did in the last class. It's going to be something even more fancier and it will certainly help you improve your writing skills that's okay um i'm also reading your chats but it's okay don't you worry i will might not be able to reply to all your chats but you have one board that's all right we are going to start with a presentation which will take you through a quick recap of last time's story writing tips that we discussed. For all those who know who had attended it, very good. It will be a revision. For those who have joined in today, you can just listen on and understand and ask in the chat. All right. So if you're ready with your pen, paper, pencil and a notebook or an A4 sheet, that's okay if you haven't attended the last session. As I said, I'm going to do a recap. You will all know all the concepts of the last session because every session will certainly have a recap, a revision of the previous session. Okay, not to worry. Just get yourself together. Sit straight, everybody. Sit straight. Come on. Yes, very good. So now that you are a story writer, 
or you're becoming a story writer you need to have that poise you need to sit around and flaunt yourself so sit straight and put on your smiles come on everyone put on your smiles without a smile nothing works not even the session if you're happy and if you're smiling you will get nice and good ideas trust me that's what i do when i have to write a story all right so here i begin last class was the introduction the first part of story writing we love to listen to stories we love seeing them on television on our ipads in the attend classes we read a lot of books but have you wondered how does one write them writing those stories so boys and girls and parents if you're there with me today i'm going to share the secret of writing a good short story are you with me on that yes excellent we have to bring i can get i'm getting some queries i will just answer that you need a notebook a pen pencil or an a4 size sheet a printer paper sheet a white sheet where you can write and draw today's story we will be drawing the story but hey hey don't worry in case you don't like drawing or you don't think you want to draw that's okay because i will help you how to write a story with or without drawing but for all those who love art and they love drawing our story will have a good amount of drawing and artwork today okay right so i'm going to start with a recap of what we did in the last class we started with how to write a story and why do we need a story so i'm going to share my presentation now a story remember we had done has to have a beginning a middle and an end these are the three parts of a jigsaw puzzle you need to start on the story with the characters the location who is in your story you need to bring out a concept a problem in the story and then you need to resolve or solve the problem which is the end part of your story if you notice any story like the last story we did was the rabbit and the tortoise in that we had started writing i got a lot of your submissions and i completely love that thank you so so very much for submitting your work at yellow class group it was really amazing and nice to see all of your work so in the rabbit and the tortoise story you had started writing a starting who are the characters you wrote where the location or the setting of the characters was in the jungle the rabbit and the tortoise were planning to do a race in the jungle why the why part of the story again it's a middle part of the story you started to tell me that they are doing a race because they want to prove who's the smartest the rabbit wants to prove that he was the best the what part of the story was when in the, you wrote about how the race will take place the person the animal that reaches the finishing line first is the winner of the race and the end part of the story was that the tortoise slowly and steadily was walking 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 whereas the rabbit was very proud of himself and he slept off thinking that the tortoise will never catch me and i will win the race anyway so in the end what happened the tortoise overtook the rabbit and won the race so that is the end of the story and how did we manage to do that we had the 5 w's and 1 h rule in which the first w stands for who in the story 
we whenever we are writing a story you need to write down who are the characters in your story so we did the who that's how is the beginning of a story done then we did the location which is the where part of the story where is the setting where is the story what is the location so after who characters in your story we did where is the location the location is a jungle it could be a city it could be a palace anything the setting of the story you could also change the order in which you want to take these up but ideally you always introduce a character then you introduce the place if you see any story or if you read any story it's always like that then we did the third w was the when part of the story in which you identified when the what time of the day was it yesterday was the race taking place today will it be taking place in the future so the when the timing of the story when was the story taking place we did the third w which was the when then we did <coughs> the <coughs> what part of the story what is the theme of the story what is your story going to be about what are your characters going to do in the story what is the problem in the story so this was our fourth w that we did in the story we wrote down about the problem of the race that will take place that was a what in the story and lastly we had the fifth w which is the why why was the race taking place to prove that the rabbit was the smartest but it didn't happen like that so boys and girls and your parents the 5w rule the what when where why and who comprises of the story the beginning the middle and the end so all your 5w's and there voila you have a beginning a middle and an end to your story can you write an end first and then the beginning and then the middle will your jigsaw puzzle solve or fit into each other no it's only in this order when we do that we will get the story in its proper shape also with the 5w rule that i have just told you you have to also write the end of the story which is the resolution how did you solve the problem in the story how was the problem solved in the rabbit and the hare story rabbit and the tortoise story the how the end part of the story so don't worry i'm sharing a presentation which will again do a recap of what we did so everybody take on your notes listen carefully ask me your questions i may or may not be able to take all of your questions but we'll try and do them towards the end of the session so here i begin sharing the presentation all right so if everybody is here with me great i'm doing a quick revision welcome to aditi ma'am's session of story writing workshop part 2 part 1 was done last week you can always go and check the link on the facebook group for the detailed workshop if you ha happen to miss it it will be available on the yellow class group on facebook or the yellow class facebook group that you're a part of or the whatsapp group So today as i said it's a quick recap we will just revise what we did in the last class i'm going to take a story writing method the second way of attempting to write a nice smart story and uh, we will do some fun exercises and games of writing a story
we did the objective of writing a story how should you write a story what are the important parts of a story how do you write a story plan so in a story as we just discussed you need characters you need a setting or a location you need an event you need a problem and you need a resolution how do you write a good story the question word the remember the golden rule of 5 w's and 1 h when writing a story who where what when how and why let me solve this with an example i hope everybody can see the presentation and hear me very well the different colors are marked with the question words the tiny bird is the who part of this story hopped quickly and flew off are the how part of my story the where is across the garden to a safe place the what is picked up the bread the when is immediately the timing how is hopped quickly and flew off and why is to eat it so imagine this is a story my friends a short story in one sentence i have written all my 5 w's and one h in these different colors so can you not to worry at all <clears throat> how to plan a great story as we did we need a title a name to your story always have a name to your story what do you want to call your story the characters the who the setting and the location the where the time which is when the problem which is what the solution how did you solve the problem and a moral a story should always have a moral message or a central theme as i said we did this story of the rabbit and the tortoise keeping in mind the 5w and 1h rule for those who have missed this you can try writing it and share it with us on the yellow class group then i asked you to write a story about using the 5w and 1h about how would you celebrate your birthday if it's coming in these few months or if you have just celebrated or it is gone by so keeping in mind the 5w and 1h we had done this exercise we did a picture story the picture clues also help us write a story then in a story you can write make little characters and then make it into a poetry form so you can have a story poem as well now for today's session that was the recap of the last session you can check the first part on the yellow class group how do we write a story get an idea first a thing that has happened to you a thing that you like to do that will be your idea once you get that idea you need to plan your story you need to sketch your story and that's where the drawing will come write down your short story and revise that who where what when and how are taken care of in your story and voila the story is done another way of writing a story is you write a story starting by first for example first my friend came over and we played some fun games next my friend sang the happy birthday to me and we ate some cake then i got to open presents i got a really cool toy after that we played with my new toys we also played for a long time and finally i gave my friend a treat bag a return present a back present and when their parents came to pick up it was the best birthday party ever so boys and girls another way of attempting to write a story is by write, using the word first next then after that and finally you might want to make a note of these words that you can write a story one way is the 5w and 1h rule the second way is using first 
the next sentence should start with next the third sentence can start with then then after that and the fifth sentence can start with finally and that's your story wow who's that this is an example of my ouch story first i fell down and scraped my knee next i cried a little bit then i got bandaid and finally i felt better and started playing again so today's concept is on the first and the next the then and the finally and voila there's your story trust me if you use these words and you write a story using these words your story will really come out in a very different way than you had imagined so boys and girls you should think of an idea what you want to write a story about what can it be think create a character and a setting location decide your location where is the story taking place who are the characters in your story go on to start writing the beginning of the story what is actually happening then you should next step is to write the conflict is there a problem in the story because without a problem you don't have enough masala so you need to add that twist remember if cinderella wouldn't have lost her shoe then the cinderella story would not have had the same ending then next step is to write the turning point what is the main theme what what happened the prince in the cinderella story decided to sh get the slipper that was with him try and get it to try with everybody who fits in the slipper becomes his wife that was the turning point the resolution they go from house to house in that place in the kingdom to find the right owner of that slipper in the cinderella story i'm sure we all know and the end was the prince and cinderella married happily ever after so you see you take any story and these steps will fit in perfectly so take a story that you have read a short story think of are these steps there in the story and then write the story in your own words promise that you will do that and there you have your own story now comes the part of what we are going to draw today's concept is about storyboarding this is the best way in which you can write and draw your story so boys and girls you can take your sheet or your notebook that you have in that you can mark these boxes the number of boxes can be according to what you want to write in your story in the boxes you are going to draw your story and below that you will be writing your story that's why i asked you to get a rule sheet because it helps you draw and write at the same time but not to worry if you have not been able to get it you can just do it in the notebook that you have a storyboarding is a very interesting concept of getting a story in picture forms and then writing about it so if you can see this i have drawn the boxes you can draw it like this in your notebook in the sheet and then you can write below them what you have drawn so you can either have a who what where why and how in of the story draw it here and write it you can have a beginning middle and the end as you can see here in the picture so there are different ways the way to storyboard is always first draw whatever you want to write a story about draw it in the boxes you can take from two boxes to six to as many but draw them and then explain the picture what you have done let me tell you 
it is a kind of an arrangement of pictures and you will really love storyboarding something like this now this is an i this is a story that i have made today it is drawn in six figures well because um, can there is somebody who is not muted can somebody please be go please be muted yeah thank you all right now this is a classic example of storyboarding if you are not good at drawing that's perfectly all right you can just draw stick figures a face and a body and just write one one line below it what is your story drawing about and there you have your story so if you can see my first box has some huts and there are two kids sounds of traffic and kids playing the first in the next box i have drawn kid one says here catch the ball the red color is the ball he or she is trying to throw the ball to his friend the kid two says not so hard i don't have a glove throw it softly so there is my one line of my story and whatever i have written or drawn i am explaining that in my storyboarding after that the first kid throws the ball it goes in air you don't really have to write out explain that it's all depends on your wish if you want to do that the ball goes in air they catch the other kid tries to catch it and the second kid says yahoo i got it look at the second kid catching the ball then the second kid returns and throws the ball back to the first kid or his friend and the first kid then says that's a little low that's a little low and again he throws it he or she whatever you can you can draw this this is an example i'm getting some queries let me just take them you can draw this for an example just draw two to three boxes just the way i have done it here in your notebook and write it for your reference later on because as always today also i would want you to submit your stories write them down after the session or during the session and send it to the group so that we can read them because we love receiving your entries the stories have to be done in english i'm just looking at the queries this is an english story writing course so we will have uh, all stories only in english you can write your own story you don't have to copy the story of mine this was my story you can do your own story a storyboarding is used to depict the pictures to draw the story it is a fun way of writing a story it gives more clarity and gives you ideas to draw and then convert that into a story it's not really i'm taking your queries people um this this is my story i made a story of two kids playing catch with a ball and one kid throws the ball the other says yahoo i got it and the other one says oh you threw the ball very low and suddenly the kid two says throw the ball again and it's too high and oh no kid one and kid two break the glass of some neighbor's house and then they run away you can make okay i'm i'll just stop here to take some queries you can make it in computer or laptop yes very well if you think you can do that um you can make five boxes as much as you want to write in one story it depends on the story you want to write down that many number of boxes will happen what story to write take your own story or i will give you some topics towards the end of the course uh, and you can take those topics and write a story and give your submissions on the yellow class group i'm moving on i hope you've understood the storyboarding concept which is used to draw and write draw the 
picture of what you want to write in the story and write a line two lines below the drawing so that you know what will come next and it all follows in place you can follow the w five w's and one h rule you need to have a beginning middle and end to the story and you can also write your story by using the word first next also after that finally in the way we just discussed moving on next this is another way of writing a storyboard you can draw these boxes i have taken it for your reference you can put the boxes as 1 2 3 4 and 5 you can do it on computer and then show it you can write it in your notebooks in a notepad i would also suggest that you start making one diary or one notebook for the story writing course so that you have all your notes in one place and it's easier for you to refer to your notes please so it would be a great help if you can make one notebook a ruled notebook for writing and taking the story writing course i would appreciate if you draw a little bit it doesn't have to be a perfect story as i can see sorry if i'm being a little repetitive because i'm answering your queries from the chat um it would a storyboarding is essential because it brings clarity with the drawing that you do it doesn't have to be a perfect drawing as i told you you can just make faces you can just make clouds but you can just write down a one or two lines about it but in this order of box 1 the purple box you can just do it in black and white also you don't have to color the boxes all right moving on this is another way of storyboarding you have to make sure you write the title of your story the name of the author your name you need to write the boxes have to be in number because if they are not numbered then there will be a confusion about what comes first and what goes next so in this story you can have nine boxes and inside the box you can write or you can write outside the boxes as well but every picture should be followed by a written story written line or a sentence this is another example boys and girls for storyboarding in which you number them and you can put arrows so from box number 1 to box number 2 to 3 they are all connected this looks a little more fancier but the concept remains the same this is another way of storyboarding draw and then write your story another you can have any shape and size but i personally prefer squares and rectangles because they give you a concrete outline to your story and it has to be connected and numbered that's the only thing i'm telling you what story So this is an example of storyboarding that I have done for all of you. I'd like everybody to pay attention, boys and girls. I hope you can see this clearly. This story is about Mickey the Mouse storyboard. So my first story, you don't as I said, don't have to be worried about your drawing. You can draw a mouse the way you want to. but you can draw in the same box and write below it mickey the drawing is there mickey is a naughty little mouse so this is your storyboard number 1 second it lives in a nice house the house is a little hole in the big mansion so where does he live who is the character mickey the mouse where does he live lives in a nice house in a big mansion What does he like to do? The third part in my story. Mickey loves to run upstairs and down. The fourth part, it always runs to to the kitchen looking for food. The fifth part, it nibbles the cheese and a loaf of bread. This is all the what part of the story. Mickey was causing a lot of <clears throat> trouble at the mansion. Next, the lady at the mansion brought a cat to catch Mickey. This is the problem and now the solution. Mickey and the cat are going to have a fight. Oh boy, that's the ending of the story. And very soon it will be the end of our poor Mickey. So I hope 
you have understood that within the same story box you can make your drawing and write if you are not very confident you can draw and write below it so this is one way of doing your story so today the topics that i'm going to give you i want your submissions in this form on the group on the facebook group of yellow class or on the whatsapp group wherever you can check with them you can write your own story definitely kids you can write your story if you want you can take the story the mouse story or you can write your own story not to worry at all um i know i'm being a little repetitive but i'm answering your queries the same queries again and again so please uh, bear with me for that this is another storyboarding we have all done the story remember we all love this story it's about the axe the woodcutter there is a moral in the story this is another example of storyboarding where you draw and you write i'm going to read it out for you as i've done it moral is honesty is the best policy it can come in the beginning but usually a moral i would prefer coming towards the end so when you write your story you can start by saying once there lived a poor woodcutter he used to cut trees in the woods one day he was cutting wood on the bank of a river that's your start then in the first box his axe fell down into the river so you have drawn the character what he is doing and you have written on the side the river was deep he could not take his axe out he sat on the bank and began to weep in the next storyboard box mercury the god of water appeared she asked the reason of his weeping the woodcutter told the whole story mercury dived into the water and brought a golden axe the woodcutter refused to take it the next storyboard box you can draw what you are thinking next mercury again dived and brought a silver axe the woodcutter did not take it either and then in the last part of the storyboard then she brought an iron axe the woodcutter took it gladly because that was the axe that belonged to him mercury god was very much pleased she rewarded the woodcutter with the other two axes so the moral is honesty is the best policy so um this is another way of doing a storyboard now what topics do you think we can have this is the topic i'm giving for your story writing you can draw this you can draw in your own way but write down the topic which is the balloon lady can make anything out of these long skinny balloons i would like to see and you can just continue the story from there draw it in your own in your own style but the theme the story topic i'm giving you is the balloon lady can make anything out of the long skinny balloons can you see she's handing handing over a animal shaped balloon to the little boy but what would you like to see what character would you want the lady the balloon lady to give you so this is your first assignment for today write it draw it in this way and share it on the group click yourself click your work and share the feedback and your story in this way you can definitely write another story yes people want to write about gandhi ji yes tomorrow 2nd october yes you could do that but keep in mind the storyboarding concept the 5 w's and 1 h keep in mind the beginning middle and the end and keep in mind that you can write a story by using first then after that next and uh finally another story that i'm giving you is edgar and his mom went for a nice walk you can choose to write that the previous story or you could write this story along the way they met so let's do one thing everybody we have learned so much today why don't we start writing the story right away 
this is your topic for your story writing take out your pencils notebooks sheets draw it in your own way but the topic here is edgar and his mom went for a nice walk together along the way they met and think of what you can write i'm giving you a few minutes to write down the story please start writing if you have any doubts please write to me feel free to write to me in the chat i will be answering that you can write princess elsa story a moral in the end is essential because it drives home the theme of the story i'm sorry i can't mute uh, anybody but i can only take your queries through the chat if you want you can also submit any other story but this is a very nice interesting way of writing down a story so this can also be a storyboard you have one picture and then you're writing your story so this is a one box one storyboard drawing and a story so everybody i'm waiting to see what you write you can submit this on the facebook yellow class group and the yellow class facebook page go ahead you can choose your topics it's perfectly all right I would really appreciate if you can share your work write it down right now click a picture of your work with or without your face and send it on the group I would also appreciate if you can give a lot of feedback as to how did you find the session what did you like about it and what would you like to see in the next sessions or learn in the next sessions Yes you can write I'm answering the queries on the chat box keep writing children you can keep writing for those who have understood please keep writing yes you can write your own storyboard you can write this story right now please type out in the chat if you have a query i'm answering your queries in the chat box Yes, I would appreciate if you can finish the story writing of this story right now. I'm waiting, don't worry. You can write about 4 to 5 lines for this story right now. Whatever you understood, follow that and write the story. Yes, you can write your own story if you want to. You can write it. somebody wants to write a story on gandhi jayanti you could also make write that story and this story so you can give two stories the story we are doing right now and the gandhi jayanti story edgar edgar is this little bunny who's going with his mom so i call him edgar if you've joined late i will just help you you can refer to the session once it's over on the groups on the facebook live youtube and refer to whatever you have missed i hope students you love this way i love this way of doing and writing a story I hope you did it too. This is a very interesting and a fun way of writing a story and drawing it too at the same time because a storybook always has pictures in it and it would be very boring if we just had to read and have only lines to read and sentences. So a storyboarding makes your story even more interesting and attractive. It the graphics really attract the reader. and it conveys the message of what you're trying to say or do in your story please write it in your notebooks in your sheets that you have
this way of writing Great. This is a very good way of writing. Don't worry about the spellings. Try and attempt the story. Refer to a dictionary. You can ask for some help from your elder brother or sisters or your parents to help you. So people, I'm waiting for you to finish. For all those who have finished writing the story, can I see a thumbs up? In the next class, there will be more fun ways of writing stories in different styles. So make sure you also do join in that in the next class, be updated. But before that, submit your writings. I would love to read them. Please do not write it in the chat box, your story. Submit it, click it and submit it on the group because the chat box will disappear after the meeting is ended and your story will disappear. So I would request that you only write in a notebook, on a page, on a whiteboard, draw and write and click it and submit it. Yes, the title can be the main character of course. For homework, you can write the previous story that I gave you. Great. If you have written a story in the chat box, it will not be here for long. Please write it and submit it on the group. I would love to read it there. I hope to see you in my next storytelling session on Saturday, which will be only storytelling, a different kind of story. Also, I would request to give a feedback about how you found today's class. I love preparing this class for you as I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, show me a thumbs up. I loved interacting with all of you. So, boys and girls, parents, we learned the second part of story writing workshop. A story can be written in different ways. We learned the met we did a recap of the previous session. We then did a storyboarding of drawing your story and writing it. Don't worry if it's not a perfect drawing, it's perfect. Assignments, you can write them, click them, and share it with us and tag yellow class. I would love to read each one of them. Also, please leave a feedback of how on the Facebook group. So trust me, once you follow these rules and make some of your own, you have definitely become a story writer. You can use these concepts in writing a story in your assignments, in your worksheets, in school, in competitions, and there you have a lovely short story and a budding story writer, just like so many.
make sure i would request that you maintain a notebook as i said a notebook for a story writing course class every time write down all the notes that we share here write down your stories in that so that they are all at one place and you can refer to the notes and the concept great for those who have completed i'm just waiting for everybody else to finish great I hope boys and girls you enjoyed the session. I need a show of hands of all those who enjoyed the session today. Lovely. Wow, I'm getting so many super yeses. How many of you liked it? Good. Very good. Excellent. Show me with your show of hands and make sure you write and submit your stories. Very nice. Wow, a lot of you have done it. Keep writing. keep reading a lot more stories brilliant wow do leave your feedback on the group on the facebook facebook page of yellow class tag yourselves and your stories all right thank you so much for having me on this session of story writing part 2 refer to both the sessions on the group if you have any doubts the sessions will be available on the group you can refer to them again and write looking forward to all your entries and your feedback thank you so much for joining in i will see you in the storytelling session on saturday hope to see you again goodbye and have a happy gandhi jayanti and a great great super weekend Thank you boys and girls thank you parents thank you yellow class for having me on board for this session today thank you everybody goodbye